you for tuning in to another episode of UG in a Minute. I'm Public Information Officer Crystal McFetters here to bring you what's new and up and coming for the month of February. So like I say every month, grab your pen, grab your cell phone, and let's get to these events. Join us for an ongoing Information Field docuseries on February 3rd, 10th, and 17th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Wyandotte County Public Health Department Auditorium. This series is for anyone who's interested in learning about LGBTQ plus issues and challenges in families, churches, and schools. View these dynamic films, ask panelists your burning questions, as well as enjoy some various snacks. Seating is limited, so please RSVP to attend. Next up, we have the KCK Redevelopment Open House for the Indian Springs site. Join the unified government, interested developers, and consultant teams and your neighbors on Wednesday, February 7th from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. to weigh in on the future of the former Indian Springs Mall site in Midtown KCK. This site owned by the UG will be redeveloped through an ongoing initiative, and we want to hear what's most important to you for this site. The open house will be held in the community room at the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department East Patrol Station at 849 North 47th Street in Kansas City, Kansas 66102. More information can be found on our website. Are you looking for a family-friendly Valentine's Day activity? Come join us at the Armordale Community Center on Wednesday, February 7th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for Romantic Rhythm Bingo. Participants will guess the songs and mark them down off their bingo card. First to receive bingo wins the prize. Snacks will also be provided while supplies last. We hope to see you there. The Unified Government Parks and Recreation Department will be hosting the Someone Special Dance. This event will take place on Friday, February 9th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Joe Amaya Community Center. So come on and grab someone special and join us for this night. This dance will allow kids and adults to cut a rug and dance the night away with someone special. There will be a DJ with lots of great music, light refreshments, photo opportunities, and a huge dance floor to dance the night away. We hope to see you there as well. On February 14th from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., the Kansas State Research and Extension will be in partnership with the Kansas Restaurant and Hospitality Association to kick off the first of five Serve Safe courses for the year. The Serve Safe program is a national certification program designated to teach safe handling practices to food service employees and others who handle and serve food to the public. To learn more about this program, including the cost, location, and included materials, please visit our website. Please join the Unified Government Black History Committee for a memorable event celebrating African Americans in the arts. This year's event will be held on Saturday, February 17th at Memorial Hall in downtown KCK from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. This celebration will focus on cultural pride and the influence and impact of African Americans in the arts in our community. There will be amazing entertainment and a keynote address delivered by best-selling author and assistant city manager for the city of Cincinnati, Dr. Natasha Hampton. Donations and proceeds from this event will go towards scholarships for Wyandotte County and Kansas City, Kansas students. For ticket, sponsorship, and vending opportunities, please visit our website at ycokck forward slash BHC. Please be advised on Monday, February 19th, Unified Government offices will be closed in observance for President's Day. All services and business will resume on Tuesday, February 20th. All are invited to join the Argentine Betterment Corporation for a fun field night for game night at Ground Soul Coffee House on Friday, February 23rd from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. So come for a fun night of games and a chance to win some really cool prizes. More information and location information can be found on our website. The Wyandotte County Sheriff's Office is proudly offering a Citizens Academy on Saturday, February 24th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Academy is designed to increase the understanding of the day-to-day -day operations of the Sheriff's Office. Please note that seating is limited and anyone interested must be at least 18 years of age and willing to have a criminal background check conducted. For more information and to register for this event, please contact Captain Michael Croning at 913-573-8071. The K-State Research and Extension, along with KDHE, 
and Healthy Hearts will be hosting a four-month hypertension awareness and prevention program that involves self-monitoring blood pressure. This program will kick off on February 28th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. More information and complete details can be found on our website. In closing off the month, we have the annual Mayor's Prayer Breakfast. So we're calling all faith leaders and community members to please join us in the office of the mayor for this annual Mayor's Prayer Breakfast. Anyone interested in attending is asked to RSVP prior to the event with the link provided on our website. There will be breakfast and this event will take place at Memorial Hall on Thursday, February 29th at 7 a.m. We hope you all can make it. Thank you again for tuning in to UG in a Minute. As you can see, I'm outside. I hope you get to enjoy some of these great events going on in our community as well. See you in the month of March.